Hi guys, Kaylee here, and I'm finally back with another Erin Conjuren plan with me. It's been about a month. Um, the past few weeks I had already put stickers down because I don't have any patience. Um, and this week I'm going to be using a kit from Bubba Bear Studios. So this week I am using her kit called the Retro Hipster Kit. And I got the mini size, so it comes with four pages, some full boxes, half boxes, quarter boxes, uh, Bill Do, three heart, three star checklists, a couple of deco, some headers, and a few other bits and bobs. So, and I thought I picked this kit because it's the only stickers I have that actually match my colorful week. Look at this. I mean, you know, it's not exact, but it's pretty close. I feel like it's meant to be. Um, and I'm also, since this is a mini kit, I'm going to be bringing in a few other stickers. Um, like these from my Wild Adventure kit. Some leftovers. And some stickers from samplers and whatnot. So, alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and talk you through it. So I'm going to start off by putting down some bottom washi that I made to complement this kit. I don't remember what the full kit of Retro Hipster looked like. I don't think it's on the Bubba Bear's website right now, so I just kind of went with my gut. Um, I feel like black and neutrals go with everything, and then I wanted to add some color into the date covers. Um, and yes, you can see the numbers through the white circle if you look closely, but I will go back and add in the numbers at the end um, this time. <laughs> um, that full box is from a Mambi sticker book. Um, I always prefer to put a quote box up there and this kit didn't have any quote boxes, so I wanted to just bring that in. And I start off on Monday by putting a today header down followed by a flag to mark that I'm working. And then I put down a half box with some uh, rose gold foiled washi from Hobby Lobby that is honestly the bane of my existence because it is such a pain to have to cut and peel off the backing every time I want to use it. I'd rather just not have foiled washi at all. But since I have it, I thought I might as well use it while I can. Next I put down a full box with that really handsome hipster guy with the really sexy chin balls. Um, <laughs> and then I put down a three star checklist to mark some groceries I need to make. And I definitely had more than those three, but I mean, I don't take this big planner with me, so there's no point in putting them all. Then I put down a dotted quarter box to mark that I'm watching, that I watched and with a knee with my mom. We actually finished it. And it's actually a wonderful show. Um, very dark compared to the original. They go into topics like suicide, homosexuality, what it's like being an orphan, you know, talking about our past. It's, it's, I definitely recommend it. Um, even if you weren't a fan of Anne of Green Gables, you might actually like it more than if you were. Anyways, I then put down some meal stickers. Uh, and then on Tuesday, I started off with a half box to mark my hub's new schedule that's starting today, which is Tuesday. After that, I put down a full box followed by another flag to mark my work. Then I put down that really cute planner uh, sticker to mark this plan with me video. After that, I put down some washi to cover that header, and then I put down a quarter box to mark that I needed to take out the trash. After that, I put down a really cute phone sticker from Bubba Bear Studios to mark I needed to call my dad because we're going to visit later this week, so I needed to call and confirm a few things. On to Wednesday, I put Come On Lazy Bum at the top. Um, followed by a dotted checklist that I made to complement this kit to mark some chores I needed to do, followed by some washi and another work sticker with a flag. I then go back and flip the washi because it looked like the circle in the washi was attempting to match the circles in the checklist but not quite working, so I just decided to flip it. After that, I marked my husband's schedule in a quarter box and then put you another build you underneath that and covered it with a sticky note because I don't want you guys to know how much I am in debt. <laughs> After that, I put down a half box to mark two TV shows that were coming on on Wednesday, Archer and Handmaid's Tale. 
Uh, two very different shows, both equally good. On to Thursday, I put down a full box, followed by adulty things and a flag for work, followed by a three-star checklist to mark some laundry that needed to be done. And in case you were wondering, I do like to incorporate the colorful planner's headers when I can. After that, I put down a half box uh, layered with some of that gold foil washi to mark a meeting up with someone um, later that evening, my uh, father-in-law. And then after that, I put down the I Need Space sticker to indicate that I was going to have some me time afterwards because I love my family, but I'm an introvert, so I definitely need some alone time every once in a while. On Friday, I put a Don't Forget header and a dotted checklist um, for the Planner Boss Collective sale that starts on Friday. Um, and I used a quarter box to label it. I am very excited for the PBC sale. Uh, I'm sure many of you are as well. Uh, I'm only going to be shopping at a couple stores because I'm definitely not trying to spend too much on stickers this, this time around. Um, if you guys have any favorite stores, feel free to share them in the comments. Let me know, because there are quite a few that I've never tried. Um, so, it's always nice to find new shops. And then I used one of the sexy bears to kind of celebrate the sale at the top. Um, and then after the checklist, I put down some washi and covered it with a payday sticker, because I am being paid on Friday, which is good and bad. Uh, and then I kind of adjusted a little bit because it was crooked, and I think it's still crooked in the opposite direction now, but whatever. Um, after that, I put down a work flag and marked my husband's schedule after that. And then I put a Sasquatch underneath to um, represent that I need to get ready for the trip, aka shave, because I don't like taking my razor with me on short trips, so it's best to just shave beforehand. <laughs> and I usually I get so excited and worked up about the trip that I forget stuff like that, so I thought I'd mark it my planner. Uh, for the weekend banner, I cut up a full box from a previous Bubba Kit and put Hello Weekend above that. Then I used a gas sticker to mark that I was going to gas. And then I put a dotted quarter box to mark that we're going to Nashville. And we are driving, not flying, but I don't think I'm ever going to use that fly sticker because we, if it's in the U.S., we're going to drive. But it's travel themed, so I thought I might as well go ahead and put it down. Then I put that really sexy full box underneath, um, followed by some washi and a half box to mark family time. Um, and then on Sunday, I put another half box from a sampler. Uh, it doesn't match much of the kit. That's why I was looking at both sides, but it kind of matches the dude's hair. So I was like, I'm, I'm going to use it. Then I put a little Mona next to the coffee with the fam because uh, my dad and his wife like to wake up super early so I was like we're gonna wake up early and I'm definitely gonna need that coffee. After that I put down a next week header which I don't ever use because I, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing from week to week normally so there's no point using it. So I covered it with a to-do sticker from a mammy book and then I put a three circle checklist to mark some places we're hoping to go to while we're in town. And then I marked that we're driving home for five hours and put a little tiny sticker underneath to say I'm totally taking off my pants when I get home. Just going to relax. And finally, I am working on my sidebar by layering some washi on top and bottom of this week. And then I put down some habit trackers from my planner Envy, followed by a, a full box that I'm going to put some thankful, thankful thoughts in, which is why I'm not going to fill it out. And I really wanted to use as many stickers as possible, so I used that to-do checklist and put it next to this week. Then I put down a full box at the bottom, and I want to make sure it, it lines up with the bottom washi, so I fold it and then cut it. And that full box is from uh, the same Mambi sticker book that the Just Do Your Thing is from. Then I'm just putting down a few more pieces of deco, because like I said, I want to use as much of the kit as possible. And I think that's just about it. I'm putting in the uh, date numbers. I didn't forget this time, so I'm proud. 
All right, guys, this is my completed spread. I think it turned out beautiful. Very retro, muted colors. I like it a lot. Well, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more Plan With Me's. And I will hopefully be back next week with another Plan With Me and my Erin Condren. Because look at this. It's empty, finally. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a good rest of your week, and I'll see you later. Bye.